Hey guys, May 26th here, and it has been brutally hot and sunny here in North Carolina for the past, uh, I don't know, it seems like a month and a half. We haven't hardly gotten any rain, but the good news is with all of this heat comes tomatoes. Uh, it's forcing the ripening, and it looks like uh, this Adelaide Festival tomato finally has uh, some ripe fruit. And this tomato, this tomato right here that you see, it's a dwarf tomato called an Adelaide Festival. And the one right behind it, which I have to take you around over here to see, is also an Adelaide Festival, which is this one right here. And if I set the camera down, I'll be able to show you some ripe fruit back here. Here's some ripe fruit right back here. There's a few back there. We'll be able to pick them. You can see how beautiful and variegated they are. And on the plant in the front, you can see back there, there's also a nice, beautiful, variegated Adelaide Festival tomato. Well, this is a bit of a disappointment. It looks like all of them fell victim to some kind of insect damage. Uh, this one hasn't ripened completely yet. And it has, looks like some damage from insects there. It also has a little bit of a bad spot on it right here. And this has insect damage on it, as does this one. So this one clearly has to be completely thrown away. This one needs another day to ripen right here. But I think this one will be salvageable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to last year's video of my taste test of this fruit because it was a really nice, perfect fruit. And it's a shame because this is normally a really good looking tomato. So. If I cut that in half, try to get as many good pieces as I can. Looks like it's just this quarter that I'll have to chuck. This will allow you to see the meatiness of the fruit. If I cut that in half, you can see how nice and meaty it is, which for a dwarf tomato, that's not bad at all. So I'm going to taste test this quarter right here. You can see what it looks like. You can see how beautiful the variegated stripes are on this tomato. And my God, I have not had a tomato that tasted like that for uh, nine months. That is delicious. It is soft. It is creamy. It is supple. Very low acid. Just a little bit of a nice tang to it. It is absolutely delicious. And it's a shame that insects damage this right here. Um, and that's not unusual for the first tomatoes of the season to form, uh, look a little odd, and to get some insect damage because um, they set strangely in the cold sometimes. And when they're the only ripe tomatoes out there, they, they tend to attract every single pest. But once more start ripening, there'll be more competition. They tend to set fruit at a higher temperature and they'll have less imperfections, less bumps for insects to crawl into will be more perfect so I expect them to get better as the season goes on but this tomato is absolutely delicious it ripens very quickly it's very compact because it's a dwarf tomato project tomato I can't really say enough good things about the tomato and I really think you should be growing it so that's all there is to it this is easily one of my favorite if not my favorite dwarf tomatoes I love it it will set fruit for you all season long until the plants kick out on you if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again next time.